Making H5P True or False Questions Learners access H5P True False Questions by clicking on the link on the course menu. When the question appears, the students read the statement and choose either true or false. Once they've made their choice, they can select or click on the check button. The question is graded and the score is displayed. There are several feedback options that you can choose from. See the activity associated with this video. To start creating an H5P true or false question, teachers must start by selecting the action icon. Click turn editing on. The course is now in edit mode. In the appropriate topic section, click on the Add an Activity or Resource link. The Add an Activity or Resource pop-up appears with several options. Scroll downwards until you see the H5P option. Select the H5P option. Click on the Add button. The H5P editing screen appears. In the Name text field, type in the title of the activity. Scroll down the screen until you see the drop-down menu H5P Hub. Select Content Type. Click on this option. A drop-down menu appears. This drop-down menu displays over 40 H5P content types. Choose the option True False Question. To see examples of H5P's true-false question, you may click on the example link. To start creating your question, click in the question text box. Type a statement or a question. Indicate whether the correct answer is true or false by clicking on the appropriate radio button. To choose different behavioral settings for this question, click on the Behavioral Settings Options menu. In the Behavioral Settings Options menu, there are several options available to you as a developer. For more details, see the associated document with this video. Scrolling down to the bottom of this editor, click on the Save and Display button. Your H5P True False question is ready to test. We hope that this video gives you a good quick start to developing your own H5P learning objects.